Good morning, everybody. Uh, I told you I was going to do something on basic uh, off-grid survival weapons, and this is it. Uh, I'm not going to go into guns much at all. But I'm going to go into knives and uh, stuff of that nature. I might just put this on a tripod and set it down here on the end of the table. That's a good idea. I'll get, be right back. Okay, I hope you can hear me. What I've got here, I'm going to include a video, or a, a picture rather, of some knives that I found with my net metal detector. And I don't think I like doing it like this. I think I'll just put it back in my hand for the moment. And if I need to put the I'll leave it like this. What the heck? These two knives, the first thing I need, really, is knives for off-grid uh, survival knives. These two I picked up, they're Smith & Wessons. I picked them up for ten dollars. having haven't even taken a label off of them at uh, Cabela's. They were on sale back in their junk, junk room. These aren't probably real good for skinning. They might be okay for skinning an animal, but I like heavy knives. These aren't real heavy. This one might work better than this one, but you need knives, and you don't want just one. You want a dozen or so. These two knives, I don't know where this one came from. These two knives I actually found. Uh, my thumbnail is still broken, so I can't pull that out. But this is just a cheap survival knife that I actually found. It's got some tools in it and stuff like that. I don't think that would be a very good survival knife either. But it's a knife, and you're going to need knives. This knife you could easily use for skin. and sharper than heck. If you're going to be out there hunting, you need to skin a rabbit. All of these would work for a rabbit really well. Rabbit, squirrel, whatever. For deer, I like having a hunting knife. I can't find my hunting knife. I know it's at my house in Rollins, but it's about that long. Sharper than hell. Razor sharp. It's a good knife. Uh, I used to collect knives years ago. Still got a lot of them. Uh, the Kershaw name brand knives, a lot of Snap-on knives were made by Snap-on. They're not made by Snap-on, but they were selling. Sheldon's down there eating the floor. Uh, but you need knives. You need lots and lots of knives. Uh, you can carry them on you or whatever. If I was going to carry one, it would probably be this one. Just put it in my pocket. <coughs> but that's a nice knife. But these, these two are ten dollars at Cabela's. I'm not sure where this one came from. That's a good knife also. But it doesn't lock. Yeah, there it went. It locked. And you just pop it over and off you go. But any of these work, would work for skinning an animal. The thing you might want to have <coughs> if you're out like doing a deer is a little tomahawk or uh, hand axe. Uh, if you need to break a bone or something like that, they're quick and easy. I used to use, uh, I used to carry a little hatchet with me <coughs> for breaking bones when I was hunting. I haven't hunted for a really long time. Um, kind of gave on, up on it because it was too easy in Wyoming to get what you went out for. I was actually a pistol hunter. Um, but there's so many people from out of state up there that are just out for the head. They kill the animal, take the head, and leave the body sitting there. It's illegal as hell, but they did it anyhow. Uh, one other thing that I carry, or I have, I haven't carried one. This is a sharp stick. That's all I call it, a sharp stick. 
but uh, I make these and they're easy to make just a bamboo pole I'm going to start carrying one just because it makes it easier to walk if you have a stick but that's good protection like if you have a badger or something coming at you you stick it with that stick and he might run away or he might eat you one or the other but you need a sharp stick uh, they're good for a lot of things you know, this might save your life actually you fall into some quicksand like you see in the movies put it out there and kind of drag yourself along good for zombies too that's that's what these are actually for I make them for zombies because th that's coming when society falls and it's going to if you watch the news when society fails you're going to want stuff like this. A lot of people say, no, nah, that's bullshit. It's not going to fail. Well, believe me, it's, go it's getting there quick. We're going to be killing each other really soon. It's really sad. Uh, something that's really simple you can pick up anywhere is a slingshot. This is a cool little slingshot. This, we used to call them wrist rockets. I don't know what they call them now. But I think this was like $9 or something like that at uh, Tractor Supply. Great little slingshot. I can I shoot marbles. Get out some marbles. And you want more than one. I've got several in here. This one here was, I think, $20 at uh, Walmart. I got two of these. This actually goes on down here, like that. You stick your arm through there. And uh, you're ready to roll. This, they're, they're all really powerful. You can, you can put a marble out there 100 yards easy. If you're any good, you can really do some damage with one. I've got in here several different kinds of this is a lightweight ball. These are marbles. There's some steel shot. These will all kill a rabbit. Easily kill a rabbit. Squirrel. Uh, chase off a bobcat if you want. Yeah, if you're really good at it, I don't think this one here would kill anything. But if you're good at it, you could probably knock out a deer long enough to get down there and skin it. But that is an essential. If you don't want to waste your ammunition, everybody, everybody has a different idea on guns. Everybody thinks, you know, 30 out 6, blah, 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 this gun, that gun's better. Everybody has a different idea, but there's a reason you're going to want these. I got lots of ammo in there. Uh, this is steel daisy slingshot ammo, the small stuff. I used to hunt birds with a slingshot, and I was pretty darn good. I haven't done that in a long, long time. Haven't killed anything with a slingshot in a long, long time. The thing to do is get yourself a box and set it out in the yard 20 yards away and just start shooting that box, and you're, you'll get good. Another good thing about this is this ammo is reusable. So if you are shooting at a box, the ammo is going to go in the box, and you'll be able to get in the box, pick up the ammo, and use it again. Can't do that with a gun. But that's my slingshots. I have one more. Let me show you real quick. This one, I think it was $25 at Walmart, fancy, super duper, extra heavy duty. Where's my uh, ammo for that? <clears throat> this one has a pocket right here where you can drop your little ammo 
and it stays in there. Now you got your slingshot that's ready to go until you catch it on some weeds and open that up and your ammo falls out. It also has a laser sight. I think this was like $25, $20, it was over $20, $25 I think at uh, Walmart. Now Walmart has started putting their slingshots inside the glass case where you have to show ID to buy one. That's what I'm talking about in our society is failing. When we have to show ID to buy a slingshot, it's ridiculous. I used to, when I was a kid, oh don't buy this one, it's a piece of shit. You don't need all that crap by the way. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to make my own slingshots, and I could still do it today, and no problem. Just buy a bag of rubber bands, the little newspaper type rubber bands, and get into your closet and get out some metal coat hangers, and double the coat hanger. You want two coat hangers, and you just make your slingshot out of two coat hangers, loop the end for your... Uh, for your rubber bands and use a sock for your pocket. And you got yourself a slingshot, just two, two uh, coat hangers together bent into the form of a slingshot with a couple of loops where you tie your rubber bands. And you tie your rubber bands together. I don't have a rubber band here to show you how to tie them together, but if you can't tie a rubber band together, there's something wrong. Uh, next thing is Gun. This is just a pump BB gun. This one here, I believe, is, I don't know if this is 177 or 22. Let me check my ammo. That's 177 pellet. You can use either pellets or BBs. Set the BB in there, close the door, and fire and you're done. Dogs don't like this, they go running. But this one here you can pump up pretty powerful and it's got some high speed to it. It's just a, a pellet gun is all that is. And <clears throat> I tell you what, this will this will take down a uh, small game and you haven't spent any money on bullets. You haven't used your ammo. If you use BBs, you can actually reuse them. You find the BB laying on the ground, pick it up, and use it again. Put this away. <coughs> I'll leave it sitting there. But those are basics. The next thing you need is a bow. I have two bows, and I forgot both of them. I forgot them both. Uh, i got to bring the bows down here. Because I, I need to practice. I haven't shot a bow in a really long time. But you don't have to go out and spend a million dollars on a bow when you can go down and this is, I think this is the best way to go. If you think about the American Indians, when they made bows, they made them out of a stick. Those bows probably didn't have a 10 or 15 pound pull. They're very, very light pull. And they're, they're shooting each other, they're shooting deer, they're shooting cowboys with bows. And 10 or 15 pounds is more than enough to do the job. So you could go to the store and spend $25 on a kitty bow, one of those plastic uh, fiberglass kitty bows. And that's actually what I learned on was one of those plastic kitty bows. And I got darn good with it. I can hit the bullseye every time with that little bow. Um, but that's what you want, is you want cheap. You can go out if you want and spend a gajillion dollars on a super duper heavy duty uh, rocket powered, uh, what do they call them things, compound bow. But you don't have to spend that kind of money. They are more accurate, I will give you that. But I just all I have at home is two long bows. One is store bought and one that I made in high school. 
The one I made in high school was in Colorado over in Denver and it took first place in the Colorado State Fair, I believe it was 1970, I think. It took first place in the Colorado State Fair with that bow and it's handmade. Um, but that's what you want. You want a bow and arrow set, you want a sharp stick, you want good knives, you want a, a hatchet, you want a BB gun, you want some slingshots. That is your basic, basic uh, survival right there. This, in case you're wondering, that's my Geiger counter. That's basic survival too. When it happens, you're going to need one of these. You may not want to go outside for a while. <clears throat> this, this cost me $20 on eBay, and it works. Um, but this is your basic stuff. Don't spend a lot of money on a slingshot like this one. Just get the cheapies like this. These are great slingshots and have several because these bands will rot and go away. Um, when it comes to guns, there's a reason I don't talk about guns. And it's not because I'm against guns. I love guns. I think everybody should own one. Everybody should own a good rifle, and Americans should be required to own a gun. But that's not going to happen. We have a, a failing society, and when they take our guns, you will see a complete loss of every freedom we've got, and it's going to happen. Okay, the guns, here's what my thought is. You should have popular rounds, 223, 762 by 39, 22 long rifle, 22 magnum, 22 magnum is not a necessity, uh, 40 Smith & Wesson, 38 special, 44 magnum, and uh, 45 ACP. There's probably some others in there, but you want common, common rounds and you want a weapon for each of those rounds. But here's the thing. When society fails, you may as well take this stuff and just use it for insulation on your walls. It's not going to be any good anymore. Gold is not going to be any good anymore. Silver is not going to be any good anymore. What will be good is ammo. Ammo will be the cash. Ammo will be good for trading, for cans of beans, for food, whatever. And of course you can defend yourself. If you want to go out and take a elk, you know, I would probably take my 223 or something to go out there and shoot the elk. But ammo will be it can be used as currency and it will happen. So save your ammo, get lots of it because that could possibly be the ammo or the currency of the future. Uh, try not to use it, try not to waste it. Don't go out shooting rabbits with a 22. Save that ammo, save it, keep it, and you're going to be able to find it. If there's a war, if there's soldiers on our land and they're shooting each other, you're going to find guns. You're going to find ammo out there. All you have to do is look. Uh, but that's my feeling on guns. Everybody and their mother is going to be uh, a, a gun pro. If you talk to any guy, whether he's ever seen a gun or not, he's going to be a gun pro. Uh, everybody is a gun pro. I just ask them. I mean, look at uh, um, CNN out there shooting a 20 gauge rifle or 20 gauge shotgun, calling it an AR-15. They're a gun gun pro. Uh, yeah, it's just it's widespread. Everybody and their mother's a gun pro, and everybody and their mother. There's going to be people who disagree with me on this, but keep your ammo. Don't use it unless you really have to because that could be the currency of the future. But that's what I had to say about weapons. You want knives, you want good hunting knives, you want 
knives for skinning, you want knives for uh, gutting, you want a tomahawk or something to break, break bones, uh, you need slingshots to take small game, Now you want more than one of everything. Everything you buy, you want more than one. You want slingshot ammo. There's probably, I bet I got a thousand rounds of slingshot ammo. I bet I got more than that. I bet I got about five thousand rounds just of slingshot ammo. Um, but that's what you want. You want stuff that's reusable. You want stuff that's common. You know, these, these aren't common. When these break, you throw this away. That's why you want more than one. You can buy these. You can buy just the bands, but you don't want to open the box if you do, because uh, air getting to these is what rots them. Air and sunlight. And don't spend your money on something fancy like that. It's, it's useless. It's a slingshot. It's still useless. I can't hit the side of a barn with this. But that's what I had to say about off-grid survival weapons. Uh, there's more. There's there's a lot of stuff we're going to get into. I want to get into uh, the medicine and all that stuff that you want, might want to have around. Um, and this. You definitely want a set of these unless you want yours like mine. Uh, here's uh, just real quick. This is something that nobody talks about. A laser. You can actually blind somebody with that, and you might be able to use that to blind a deer. You never know if you're out there hunting. But that's what I had to say about guns and uh, off-grid weapons. These are necessities. I've heard people say, well, I don't need no slingshot, I've got a rifle. Well, good for you. You're going to run out of ammo. Have fun. If you have cases and cases and cases and cases of ammo. Uh, the video cut out for that last few seconds. Um, and I redid the whole video, but I realized that uh, it didn't cut the whole thing off. It just cut what I was saying off. Um, but yeah, you don't want to run out of ammo. Um, have lots of it. Have a stash just for yourself. And uh, if you reload, that's great. If you know how to reload, if you have the equipment, you're still going to have to buy powder. You're still going to have to buy bullets and uh, primers. You're going to need a lot of that stuff. Um, but have a, have a stockpile. If you run out, guess what? You're going to have to use a slingshot. Sheldon isn't feeling very good this morning. He threw up on the floor twice. I think he ate the wrong kind of poop somewhere. But that's all I had to say about weapons. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, can't think of anything else. If I do, it'll be spotty. I'll add a picture of all of the knives, the, the entire pile of knives and uh, stuff that I found at that park in Rollins. I took um, those pictures to the Sheriff's Department when I worked there and the city promptly replaced the sand with uh, sawdust, which is hard to dig in. Um, I guess it's probably the wise thing to do. We have a lot of gang activity in Rollins and uh, MS-13 and stuff like that. But uh, I don't know why the kids were going out there burying their dad's knives. But I'll uh, get this one here published and y'all have fun. Oh, just one more thing right now. I could just see the little kitties on face on YouTube watching and saying, Oh my god, he has a slingshot! Ah, I'm gonna go to my safe place and cry!